In this video, I'm going to unbox a Ruminal Oxyclozonide liver fluke drench and go through the basics that you need to know when using it, either as a dry stock farmer or a dairy farmer. Ruminal contains 3.4% oxyclozonide, so that's a narrow spectrum flucicide. It's going to kill adult fluke, so it's going to kill the egg laying fluke. It's important we clean these out during the winter before cattle go back to grass to avoid future fluke problems on farms. Oxyclozonide products like Ruminal have very unique dose rates in that they have a maximum limit above which you don't go over regardless of the animal's weight. So with Ruminal, we dose at a rate of 3 mil per 10 kilos up to a maximum of 105 mil. That'd be a 350 kilo animal. Above that, no matter if we're dosing a 600 kilo dairy cow or a 900 kilo pedigree Charlie cow, it's still a 105 mil dose. Oxyclozonide's mode of action can cause animals to exhibit scouring in the days post-dosing. We need to be careful with this. Try and avoid stressed animals or animals that are coming up to stressful times and make sure that water is available in the days post-dosing so that the animal doesn't become dehydrated. On both dairy and beef farms, use oxyclozonide during the house period, so that's the dry period for dairy farms to clean animals' livers out of liver fluke. So a typical strategy on a dry stock farm might look like animals getting a drench with ruminal about 10 weeks after they've gone into the house. And that will ensure that we've allowed all fluke in the liver to mature so that the ruminal will take them out. It's pretty similar on a dairy farm. We can do them any time during the dry period as the withdrawal period is short for milk at only four and a half days. Um, just note, up to calve, and we need to exercise a bit of caution because of that mode of action of oxyclozonide. On the beef farm, your meat withdrawal is going to be 13 days with ruminal. Ruminal is safe to use in pregnant cattle and safe during lactation when we're dosing suckler beef cows. 